guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, we are here with my creative year, and this week's prompt is inspirations. And as you guys know, our topic for the month is words. Um, this is one of the very first things that I do for inspiration when I come into my studio, and I just thought I'd um, put it on tape. Now you guys see these. Um, I actually did a video where I made these. Uh, these are samples that Gina had done on different watercolor sets that she had gave to me quite a while back. So I reuse them. And what I do in the morning is I'll sit here and I'll shuffle until I feel like, you know, that looks good. So I'm going to stop right there. And then when I flip it over, it gives me the word for the day. And let me tell you, that is so fitting because a week ago, I was that wasn't my word. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that's one place that I get my inspirations from um, with words. And with today's word alive, it, it, it fits. It fits where I've been the last few weeks. Now, the other thing that I want to show you, this is a, I don't know who made this book. Oh, it's a moleskin, um, or a moleskin, however you want to say it. And this book is kind of like my little Bible. Um, what this has in it is it has a lot of information, this part is blank, thank goodness, um, of things, either classes, where to go, classes that I want to do, or um, things that I want to um, put together, different series that I want to do, all my chronic pain stuff is in here. Here's the ABCs. Kind of pain ABCs done. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is kind of it, it's my place to go to drop ideas to um, just write out different ideas or inspirations or whatever. So I actually have a tab for inspirations, which right now there is nothing in it because um, I wanted to do it for this video. Now when I to think about words and I think about inspirations, there's several things that work for me. Um, one thing is questions. I like to think what if and basically that means what if I take this color and put it with that color or what if I try this color with this color or what if I take that modeling paste and do this to it? What if I use the stencil in this way? What if I, um, it, it can go on and on and on. What if? All right, another thing I do is I wonder, um, what would happen if, now this is basically the same thing, what if, and I wonder what would happen if. Um, that again inspires me. A lot of times I'll sit and I'll look at my supplies and I think, hmm, I wonder if I took those gel pens and if I could make a page full of nothing but gel pen dots. Or I wonder, this is part of where I get my inspirations from, right, when it comes to words. Um, so we basically have the, the original who, what, where, why, and when. So those are the biggest three things I, or the biggest things I have for my questions is what if, um, where, where could I put um, this on the page that's going to make the most impact? Or where, um, where would my texture paste look best on my page? Or things like that. Why? Why am I using purple and orange? I don't know. Um, when? What happens when? What happens if? So there's a lot of what ifs. That's one of the first things I do as far as getting inspiration. Now, the other thing, when we talk about words with inspirations, um, okay, first thing is questions. The second thing is, um, how do I explain this? Um... We're talking inspiration. So, and I know we're talking specifically words, but this is going to be a little bit different. Um, the second thing is what I see. That's where I get a lot of inspirations. So, whether it's um, a tree trunk or a flower or a color on a car or, and I think my husband's mowing, 
So tree trunk. Um, uh, color of a car. Um, whatever, a flower. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's something that I see of others' art. You know, I may see, oh, they used the drips in this way, or they used um, this stencil in that way. So that's another place I get my inspirations is what I see and where I see it. It could be on the Internet. It could be in real life. It could be, um, so we're going to put Internet and real life. Um so a lot of what I see, I mean, it could just be an advertisement. Let's say it's an advertisement for yogurt. And let's say um, I really like the image that they have for their blueberries. Maybe I'll want to decide to paint blueberries. Okay, so this is another place. First thing is questions. The th second thing is where I see. And the third thing is the inspiration is um, internal. And when I say internal, it's what do I feel? What do I like? Um, what am I in the mood for? Meaning, do I want to play with alcohol inks today? Do I want to play with acrylic inks? Um, what do I like? Do I want to do abstract or do I want to do a focal piece? How do I feel? Do I feel like messy or neat? So like would be, um, I can't remember what I just said, <laughs> my mood, am I happy or sad? Okay, and another thing, this internal, another thing I'm going to say is touch. Um, because there's some days I really don't want to get my hands dirty. I'm just not in the mood. Again, goes back to that mood. Um, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like making the mess and cleaning it all up. So sometimes it's touch. Sometimes I may just want to color. Sometimes I may want to do a ton of texture. Someday I may want to get into my paints, my alcohol inks. Um, there's a lot of different things depending on what I'm in the mood for as to what's going to come out of me for art. So, um, you know, I realize this is going to be a short and sweet video, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of where I draw on my inspirations, questions. That's basically product questions. Meaning, um, you know, if I use this with that or if I color this with this or, you know, so that's basically my questions are the product. What would it look like if I layered this on top of that? Um, you know, those are one of my huge inspirations with questions. A lot of times when I sit and I create, I create, um, I create very instinctually. I don't, I don't have a plan. I don't have a color palette. I don't have um, an idea in mind. I mean, I can't sit here and say, well, geez, you know, here's my page. I'm going to put a tree here. I'm going to put a bird up here. I'm going to put a house here. I don't do that. I, I can't create that way. To me, that stifles my um, creativity. So what I'll do is I'll take that page and I will just start throwing color down here and there. Let's throw some of this there, this there, this there. Okay, let's throw in some stamps. Oh, maybe we'll do some stamps here. I create that way and that's where my inspiration comes from is basically um internal it's like an internal intuition sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you guys have seen that there's some days i'm just like Ugh, i don't like that at all it just happened recently on one of my chronic pain tags i hated the one side it just looked awful if i had my way i would have just completely adjusted over it and redid it which i should have done but i didn't but anyways so I just want to give you guys a little insight as to um, how I create and what spurs me to create and where I get different ideas of what I want to create. Um, again, look around you. Look around you. You don't even have to leave your house. 
All you have to do is look out the window. You can look at a certain, I don't know, an array of pens. Okay, look at this. I was just sitting here looking at this. This is my um, gel pens. And I have them all in this. And, it, and it's loose, so I can just grab one and go. But I was sitting here looking at it, and I thought it was, let me see if I can show you. I thought it was kind of cool the way when they're sit down. See, some of these stand up, some of these are laying down. So I got the idea, I'm like, hmm, that'd be kind of cool to do like a, a flower scene like that. All right, so let your imagination roam. Let your imagination take over. Um, you know, don't, don't worry about if someone else doesn't like it. Don't worry about if someone else doesn't get it. Use your inspirations, what you find, how you find your inspiration, and just be yourself, okay? Because we're not all here to paint the same exact painting. We're not all here to draw the same exact face. We're not all here to look like everybody else. That's not what we're here for. I know a lot of people say um, color outside the lines or, you know, get out of your box. I say draw your own. So make your box as big as you want it and be you in your process. So just a little um, tips and tricks of inspirations, where I find my inspirations, how I get my inspiration, and that's about it. So um, as always, like I said, this is a short and sweet video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And I will see you guys again next month. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.